Splinter Cell Blacklist, released in 2013, indeed earned its place as one of the notable entries in the stealth gaming genre. It continued the legacy of the Splinter Cell series, blending tactical espionage action with cutting-edge technology and a gripping narrative. In a frank analysis of its stealth gameplay, here are some key aspects to consider. 8. Stealth Mechanics Blacklist maintained the core principles of stealth gameplay that the series is known for. Players were required to move silently, stay hidden in the shadows, and avoid direct confrontations whenever possible. The game introduced a killing in motion feature, allowing for fluid elimination of multiple enemies in quick succession, but this didn't compromise the core stealth experience. Though, adaptive gameplay, what set Blacklist apart was its flexibility in allowing players to choose their preferred playstyle. You could opt for a more aggressive approach or remain purely stealthy, with the game adapting to your choices. This adaptability ensured that both newcomers and series veterans could enjoy the game according to their preferences. Team. Variety in stealth approaches. Blacklist offered a variety of ways to approach missions. You could use gadgets like the tri-rotor drone for reconnaissance, non-lethal takedowns, or create diversions with the sticky noisemaker. The freedom to experiment with different tools and tactics added depth to the stealth experience. Char. Level design. The game featured well-crafted, open-ended levels that encouraged exploration and creativity. Each mission had multiple paths and opportunities for stealthy maneuvering, making it satisfying for players who enjoy planning and executing covert operations. Punch. Narrative integration. The storyline in Blacklist seamlessly integrated with the stealth gameplay. As Sam Fisher, players were on a mission to stop a series of escalating terrorist attacks, which created a sense of urgency and purpose in remaining covered. The narrator provided context and motivation for the stealthy gameplay. Che. Challenging AI. The enemy AI in Blacklist was intelligent and responsive, making it a worthy adversary for players. Enemies communicated effectively, investigated disturbances, and posed a genuine threat. This heightened the tension in the stealth segments. Sap. Co-op and multiplayer. The game offered various multiplayer modes, including the popular, Spice VS. Mercs. These modes added a competitive edge to the stealth experience, allowing players to test their skills against each other in asymmetrical gameplay. Art. Visuals and sound. The game's visuals and sound design played a pivotal role in enhancing the stealth experience. The use of darkness and light, along with realistic sound propagation, contributed to the immersion and realism of sneaking through environments. In a frank assessment, Splinter Cell, Blacklist successfully upheld the core principles of the stealth genre while evolving and adapting to modern gaming preferences. Its blend of flexibility, challenging gameplay, and narrative depth made it a standout title for fans of stealth gaming. However, some die-hard fans of the earlier, more purest stealth-focused entries in the series might argue that it strayed slightly from its roots in favor of a broader appeal. Nonetheless, it remains a commendable addition to the stealth gaming pantheon.